to your Reiki session in our cozy cottage in the woods. I hope you're doing as well as possible. For today's session, you're all snuggly and warm, and we are going to be doing a really beautiful sleep healing session for boosting communication while you sleep. I really like doing these sessions for some kind of theme, you know, we did building confidence while you sleep, boosting communication while you sleep. I want to do several others with this in mind because when we're sleeping and resting, that's a prime time for us to do healing on a really deeper level and I think it's really, really powerful and potent to access that kind of cellular healing right before we fall asleep so that it can do its work while we're sleeping. So before we get too far into this session, I just wanted to quickly share the sponsor for today's video. Thank you, Pebble, for sponsoring today's video. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world, and their mission is all about creating mutual understanding through language. I started using Babbel years ago to learn Swedish, y'all day jättebra, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. It just works. You know this channel is all about mindfulness. So if you find yourself mindlessly scrolling, you can take that time to improve your mind instead and do a few lessons on the Babbel app. You can also learn through the live online classes, games, or even their podcasts. I like listening to these while I'm out here gardening. So I am going to be learning French. I went on a trip to Paris in March and it was so magical. I immediately started dreaming and scheming about another vacation to France. So hopefully we can manifest that together. This trip, I'm going to give myself a little more time to prepare and Babbel is perfect for this. You can share your goals and they give you actionable steps to follow each day in order to meet them. In case you're still on the fence, Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. The lessons are created by real teachers and language learning experts and prepare you for real life conversations. To top it all off, there is a 20 day money back guarantee. Vacation season is rapidly approaching. With just 10 minutes a day, Babbel can help you speak like a local on your next adventure. They are kindly offering a discount. So get 60% off your subscription and start speaking a new language in three weeks with Babbel. What language do you wanna learn? I'd love to hear in the comments. Now, back to the session. I'm going to use some of this sweet grass. This is a beautiful sweet grass braid. And I'm just going to do a little bit of clearing and cleansing here. So just doing some gentle clearing. start of a session to do clearing and cleansing just to kind of release the day. I just want you to really release the day. Let go of anything you're holding on to. Sometimes we just, we have energetic gunk that just sticks to us. So taking an opportunity just to do some deep clearing as we start an energetic session can help us to kind of drop into the healing. Mama Guy is brave. Mother is As you can hear, it's super stormy out. You might also hear some tapping. We have lots of robins here at the cottage and uh, they kind of charge at the windows because 
they, which is like kind of intense, but because they, they see their reflection and they think it's a rival male. So the big, you know, red-breasted robins will sit on our, in our window boxes and just kind of flat flutter up to the windows. And, uh, they don't seem to hurt themselves at all. And when I go up and say, hello, what are you doing? They stop and look at me, but, and they usually fly away. But it's, it's just a, a bizarre thing that in, early in the morning when you start to hear, it, it's kind of trips you up. <laughs> so you might hear a little bit of that in addition to the rain. It's a really beautiful time of year here at the cottage, very cozy. I want to begin by using this little Tibetan singing bowl. And with this, we're really going to focus on clearing in the throat, the throat chakra. I want you to clear anything here in our Vishuddha chakra that is really blocking you right now. So we've done a little bit of cleansing and in the aura, and now we're going to focus specifically in the throat chakra. So I really want to make sure that we're nice and clear and using healing sound vibrations to do that clearing, I think is really powerful. So I'm just going to strike our singing wall and then I'll move it up to your throat. Let those healing vibrations fill up your throat and your neck, kind of clear anything that might be blocking you. session today is peppermint, which is great for self-expression, for creativity, and you know, it's in the menthol family, so it has that beautiful kind of lifting quality to it, and a little bit of frankincense, so that's a little bit more grounding, a little bit richer, and soothing and negative. Kind of one of those. It's very spiritually aligned. I think the combination there is a really pleasant one aromatically and also in terms of the healing properties. So I'm going to just be spritzing this in your aura and then specifically I'm going to do a few spritzes around your throat. We do this kind of healing, you know, the this mist and essential oils. These properties, you know, they can travel through time and space. The energy that they emit. Each of these essential oils, this smells so good. Has a different vibration. We're just using that to lift and heal. No, just a little bit around the throat chakra. Thank you. 
fabric fan just to kind of do a little bit of a further cleansing here and we are going to be releasing any of that energy that's still stuck kind of wafting those essential oils into your system and I also find it very relaxing to use our fabric fan here it's like water and it's very similar in color you know these are the colors associated with the throat chakra blue so If you wanted to start to take a few slow, deep breaths here, feel free to do so now. Expanding your belly, expanding, just even visualizing expansion in your throat space. You know, you take up space, you're allowed to communicate your needs, your wants, your thoughts, your feelings, your creativity, your truth. And just really honoring that and just creating space for all of that, all of that beauty, all of that wisdom to just be expressed. We're not focusing on the actual words, on how you're going to communicate specifically. We're priming this space almost in the same way that you would kind of do a warm up before a vocal performance if you're a singer or an actor or something like that. We're just warming up the instrument, warming you up energetically so that when it comes time for you to express the things that might be a little bit harder for you to express you're ready to do it all of the different mechanisms involved emotionally, energetically, you know, all of your chakras your aura it's all there to support you so that your message can be shared with strength and vigor and that your truth can be really beautifully, harmoniously integrated into the world. like a river flowing in and just creating lots of space, creating lots of space, flushing out any blockages, flushing any blockages, flushing any blockages that you're experiencing, like a beautiful river. before we do anything else I'm going to do a little bit more clearing with the selenite wand here just in case there's any lingering energy from the day we're just going to clear that sharing your time with me, that you are, yeah, here, choosing to heal yourself. I'm honored to engage in this, this Reiki healing with you. It's beautiful. Clear the feet too, we 
can hold so much energy in the soles of our feet and in the palms of our hands as well. So with that in mind, I'm going to use these two selenite sticks. I'm going to place them in the palms of your hands. They have a very tinny kind of sound. So if I just tuck this one here in your right hand, and then can I lean over you and put this one in your left? So just hold those gently in your palms and once you're, you know, if you get really tired or you start to fall asleep, you can just let them fall. It's okay. You know, we have a nice cozy rug on the floor, so they're not going to break if you, if you just let them go and they'll probably just lay on the rickety table. Let's do a little bit of clearing. Specifically now we're going to clear in the throat chakra. Let me start to breathe really slowly and deeply and imagine that glimmering light, twinkling, gleaming light is pouring in as you inhale and it's just filling up your throat, filling up your throat with this cooling, soothing energy. Sometimes when we work in the throat chakra, because very often we hold a lot of emotions here, sort of the last <laughs> front before we express what's going on inside with the outer world. So it is, in a way, it's that that bridge between our inner life and our outer life. And that's why, we, in a way, we get something caught in our throat. We get that when we're feeling really emotional. Often we experience that blockage and it shows up really strongly in the throat chakra. If that's happening for you, just be as kind to yourself as you can. Sometimes we, sometimes when we ex express or experience emotions, just because society tells us it's not okay and that emotions are inconvenient or weak or whatever, we can add shame to the emotion that we're experiencing. So whatever we do, we just want to eradicate, if possible, the shame and mitigate it if eradication is impossible. So just saying like, listen, I'm allowed to experience this emotion. There's nothing wrong with my emotions. You know, we, we can control how we respond to our emotions, but the emotions themselves are just a way that we are responding to the world around us. It's just intel. That's why I always say, it's just intel. It's just intel, our emotions. And then our actions, our thoughts, our behaviors, those are the things that we can choose to do based on the emotion that we're, that we're receiving. And we don't have to believe everything that we think. And when we're feeling certain things, they might not always make sense to us. They may not always make sense the way that we're feeling. But just honoring that that reaction, that response, thats it's just a response. It's just a response. So I'm just holding space for whatever comes up if something's coming up for you. It's okay. You matter. You're enough. It's going to be okay. Whatever you've got going on, it's going to be okay. And I'm sending you so much love and support. So I'm going to take our selenite wand and just start to do a little bit of pulling in the throat chakra. Let me light a candle here so I can cast this in there.
here we have this at Maka Park Frankincense Natural Coconut Wax Apothecary Candle Coconut Apothecary So now we have a place to cast any of the blockages that we're pulling out here. Fires. Very transmuting element. We could also use water. I like using water to soothe and kind of Invite a flow, flushing things out, as you saw. Fire for transmuting and shifting. Earth for grounding something. So if we are working with the idea of, you know, believing in the power of our voice, let's say, we can use the element of earth to kind of ground that idea so that you really believe it and then you, that you kind of, it, it grounds you, kind of deepens your belief and it allows that belief to kind of penetrate and permeate deep into your, your subconscious so that you have a, a real knowing, an inner knowing that you are worthy and powerful and all of that. So we're just grounding whatever it is. You have a hard time believing you're lovable, you know. It's such a tough one, like grounding, using earth to just ground you in your lovability. You are so loved, that you're so lovable. That there are people, you know, if you, if you, have a niece or a nephew or a child or a best friend or a parent and you look at them with just eyes of unconditional love and they're just knowing that there are people who look at you the same way just knowing that that's how other people hold you and then we can just use the element of art to ground you in that fact so pulling out any blockages here in the throat chakra and transmuting those with the fire so we can reuse that energy. Good, beautiful. I'm actually gonna place this by your feet. So anything during this session that you feel like is, is still getting caught or held, you can just intend for that to go drizzling out of your feet, almost like a vacuum. Pouring, pulling that out. So that's there. So anytime you want to just put out, you can just say, I cast it down into the soles of my feet and out into the cell and I want. If you have an, a thought or an, anything like that that starts to come up for you that you're like, I don't like that. I don't believe in that. It's empowering. Untrue. Gorgeous. How we feeling? You're looking good. Energy feels good. Let's start to play around with some crystals. I want to begin with this blue kyanite, great stone of self-expression. It's also very cleansing. So while you move through your day, if you're feeling like you're taking on other people's judgments of you or you're allowing that nervousness maybe from the energy of someone else to affect whether or not you express yourself, this kyanite is going to help you with that self-expression. It's also going to help cleanse any of that energy, cleanse any of that self-doubting negative energy in that space so that you can really move forward with confidence and a real trust in your in your ability to express yourself because you have all the gifts we just need to kind of get out of our way a little bit so i have two that are kind of similar and i'm going to place one of them in the front it's a little bit brighter and then the darker one i'm going to place in the back Okay, so I'll place this one here in the front and then I'll come around back and place the other one. 
right there very gently. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And we just want to allow that kyanite to cleanse and clear any blockages. Kind of like the selenite, which is sort of anything that's blocking the throat chakra, blocking you from really solid, strong, confident, loving, gentle communication. Just allow that to be sort of just vacuumed out by that kind of, and I'll do the same in the back when we come around. And I'll place this beautiful kind of in the back here. Okay, so just placing this right here behind, sort of at the base of your skull here. This is a wonderful stone. We talked about gentle communication. Just inviting in a sense of gentleness. That when we communicate, we're aware of the impact that we have on other people. And we speak with respect and we speak with kindness and we speak with a gentleness. So that we are able to stand very firmly and solidly in our truth and express it respectfully, honestly, and gently. So just place that a little bit lower there. Good. 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 So we're just creating this little grid, this little grid on your body and helping you to really give over to relaxation and to a deep healing in the throat space. We've got clearing and cleansing, and now we're starting to fill this space. Here is an Amazonite. So I wanted to invite this in for any, you know, it's got that Amazonian quality to it. So the rivers of the Amazon, it's a very fluid stone, helping us to flush out any of those blockages as well. And we're also using the power of this stone in terms of that real confidence and the power of the Amazons. And we also wanted to use this stone in order to really help you and support you heal any blockages when it comes to the throat space. So if you've had people tell you disempowering things about your voice, your truth, if you've, if you've been gaslit in your life, um, if you've experienced, you know, p people shaming you or putting you down or anything like that that's felt very disempowering about you, your truth, expressing yourself, we really want to connect with that inner child healing, that kind of past healing, just to send so much love and empowerment to that space. Almost when we do inner child healing, it's just like we're taking where we are, the agency of right here, right now, and that empowerment that we have right now, and saying, I can move through time and space and go back to that child that exists within me, that wounded child within me, and say, I'm here. I've got this. There was a reason that you needed to respond and react the way that you did in the past, but that device that you're using or that mechanism that you're using it's not working anymore so now i can take over from here i've got this you're safe whatever it is that you need to tell yourself just to remind yourself that whatever these behaviors are that or habits or whatever they are that you've developed in order to protect yourself when we get to a certain point in our healing and our healing journey we can sort of lay those to rest just allow them to let go are you getting a little emotional, maybe? Feel a little something happening in the throat space. So I'm going to place this. It's a very beautiful stone. And I'm going to place this just right underneath that there. This is support you with that. 
I'm gonna use a little bit of incense here. We're gonna light it up our camera. And I'm gonna draw the sacred reiki symbol up outside the toes. Just start to breathe slowly and deeply, my friend. Slowly and deeply. Beauty, truth, and love. Trying to send this beautiful energy into the throat space. As you inhale and filling up your throat, breaking through any blockages so that when you speak, you're sharing this glimmering light with the world. It's beautiful. Feel that soothing, cooling light floating in. Exhale and release any tension, any blockages. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will be honest. I will live and work honestly. Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will be kind. Just let those Reiki precepts wash over you. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will be honest. I will live and work honestly. Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will be kind. Okay, my love, thank you so much for joining me. This healing is going to keep working for three days. So just be really mindful over the next few days. Stay nice and hydrated. Drink lots of water. Try and get a decent amount of sleep. Just prioritizing sleep so we can let this energy just, you know, work its magic. Journal, write down any messages that you might receive. Take really, really good care of yourself, okay? Uh, do check out Babbel. I'm so, so excited 
to learn French. It's just something I'm really, really excited for. So, yeah, do check it out. It'd be fun to hear, you know, what language you are interested in learning. I, yeah, I really love, I really love Babel. They're a fantastic company and I've loved working with them. So, yeah, it's great. Uh, anyway, I'll leave that all linked down below. You know the drop but Thank you so much for being here. Lots and lots of love. And I'll see you again very soon, okay? All right. Sweet dreams.